Hi everyone, this is Andy with Blungo.com. In this video, we're gonna do a quick overview of Soho Desk. This is a case management system, also known as a ticket system, where you can centralize all the requests that you receive from your clients to make sure you respond to all of them. All right, let's get started. Keep in mind that Zoho Desk has a ton of features and I'm not going to cover them all in this video, but I will go over the most important ones. Here we are in the tickets tab and the view I'm seeing is the open tickets, but you can change it from this menu as well as creating your own views. These tickets are emails we got from our clients. On the right, you can see if the ticket has been assigned to an agent or employee, and this column indicates the status of the ticket. In this case, they're all open, but if you have a different view, you could see open, on hold, and closed tickets. And you can personalize that, but more on that later. Let's open a ticket. The first ticket has bold text, meaning that I haven't opened it yet. Here we have a question this client is asking, and on the left, we have more information about the person and the ticket. In our case, Zoho Desk is integrated with Zoho CRM, so you can see information from the CRM directly in Desk. To assign a ticket to someone, just click here and pick the agent. In this case, I'm going to assign it to myself. This way, everyone else knows that I'm working on this ticket. You can also change the other fields on this panel, so later on, you can easily filter tickets. On top, we can see this timer just started. It is used to create reports and see agent's performance. Let's pause it for now. Next to it, we can add tags and also add followers. To respond to a ticket, click here and then write your answer. And then click on send. You can also add comments in case you need to come back to this ticket later on and would like to see any notes you had. If the ticket has a complicated resolution, you can write it here. So anyone else can see how you solve the issue and you can even save it as an article in the knowledge database that we will review later. Next, we have other tabs that we're not going to go over, but I wanted to show you the history tab where you can see all the activities related to this ticket. All right, let's assume this ticket has been sold. We can close it on this panel or by clicking on this button. Now the ticket shows this green tag and the status here has been changed as well. To move to a different ticket, you can go back to the home screen or click on the list on your left. All right, let's go back to the home screen. This tab shows some basic reports about incoming tickets and outgoing answers. Team feeds is where you can find a list of activities related to all the tickets in your organization or department. You can make comments here as well. Agent queue and teams queue show the tickets that agents or teams are currently working on. In this case, this agent is all cut up, but this other one has a ticket open. On the top bar, the next tab is the Customers tab, where you can find all your contacts and this syncs with the CRM automatically. Next, we have Analytics, where you can find reports about the tickets and agents. This is the overview, but we also have dashboards and reports. In Activities, you can create calls, tasks, and events in case you need to follow up with a contact or need to remember about a task. Social allows you to connect your social media platforms to desk, so you can create tickets from the social media platforms and you can respond from right here as well. The knowledge database is where you can create help articles that you can share with your clients or contacts. If you often respond to similar questions, you can create an article with the answer and use it in future tickets. Zoho Desk also lets you create a support portal where all the public articles are gonna be located so anyone can see them. You can customize the domain of this support website so it is an extension of your actual website. All right, let's close this tab. On the top right, you can see the menu where you can switch between departments if you have more than one, as well as the search icon, the plus icon to create new records, the notifications, and the settings. Let's open the settings. I'm gonna briefly mention some of the most important features here. Under channels is where you can set up the emails that will be receiving tickets, as well as customizing the help center or support website. Add a chat if you offer customer support this way, configure social channels, your phone system, and set up forms that will create tickets automatically when someone completes them. In general, you can set up your company settings, business hours, departments, and more. Under customization, you will be able to add or remove ticket statuses, add or remove fields to the ticket layouts, configure time tracking, create email templates that you can use to respond to tickets, and configure your personal settings. In automations, you can set up assignment rules to automatically assign tickets to agents based on the ticket information, as well as create a workflow to automate processes, set up blueprints to make sure the agents follow a process, and a lot more. In users and controls, you can create teams, add or remove agents, and set up permissions. If you need to import or export data, you can do it here, and the recycle bin is here as well. In Marketplace, you will find all the integrations and extensions available for Soho Desk. 
Finally, under developer space, you will be able to create functions, configure webhooks and connections, as well as working with the API. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please click the like button. Also, let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions. Zoho Desk is part of the Zoho One suite. So if you would like to check out Zoho One, I'm going to leave a link in the description. Thanks for watching.